It's not easy to feel sorry for Mitch McConnell, the Republican leader in the Senate, who has a lot of enemies uh, in this town. But the U.S. president has put him in an impossible situation of negotiating for months on a stimulus bill for checks for $600 per person who earns under $75,000 a year. He, of course, up that after the bill was passed to $2,000, throwing it back uh, to uh, Congress. Democrats were delighted. And now it's about the Senate and more and more Republican senators, especially those up for re-election in the special election in Georgia on January the 5th. Kelly Loeffler and David Perdue have sided with the Democrats. There are others also like Marco Rubio who won the 2000 checks sent out. Mitch McConnell has refused to have a vote so far, uh, but the debate uh, continues. Uh, he is saying that uh, let's stick with the original bill, but of course that's only $600 per American family, not uh, per American person, not uh, as popular in the country. However, he's sticking to his guns. Take a listen. It will send more cash to households. It will invest billions in vaccine distribution so the success of Operation Warp Speed kills the pandemic as fast as possible and much more. This bipartisan compromise was our shot at getting help to working families on the urgent timeline that they need. Now, whether his strategy is to wait out the clock until the Senate adjourns at the end of the week or whether it's to try and bring other Republicans back to the fold, we don't know. But it's a very, very difficult choice. And Democrats are sending a real political victory here uh, at the hands of a president who they just impeached uh, just a few uh, months ago. Uh, uh, Chuck Schumer, the leader of the Democrats in the Senate, saying, look, $2,000 is what the American people deserve as COVID continues to ravage. The fastest way to get money into Americans' pockets is to send some of their tax dollars right back from where they came. $2,000 stimulus checks could mean the difference between American families having groceries for a few extra weeks or going hungry. Now, Donald Trump has been tweeting that he supports this $2,000. Uh, he really has made it very difficult for his one-time political ally, uh, Mitch McConnell. Perhaps it's payback for Mitch McConnell saying that Joe Biden is the president-elect. Remember, the president's still refusing to concede. He may even try to muddy the waters when Congress comes to uh, OK the results on January the 6th. He thinks he may be able to overturn it. Most uh, congressional leaders uh, don't want any part of it whatsoever. Meanwhile, the Biden transition team are still having problems getting the information uh, they need to take office on January the 20th, complaining that the Pentagon is not cooperating with them as well as other agencies. It's just about three weeks until President Trump is due to leave office. It's going to feel a lot longer than that. Nathan King, CGTN at the White House.